I want to welcome everybody to another edition of Slightly Warped. Um, that would be us. I'm Rick, and I'm joined by Big Show. Show, what's what up, going what on, up? man? Man, it's going pretty good this week so far. Nice. How was your weekend? It was pretty good. Um, just chill for the most part. Sit back, watch some movies with the family. Oh, what'd you watch? Um, we watched, you know, I can't even think of the name of it, but it was a movie on Netflix and it was, uh, it was about a school shooting and the kids, how they adjusted to it. It was really good, really deep movie. Hmm. Um, my daughter wanted to watch it. So we all watched it. It was pretty good. Okay. Now I did watch the first episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law. <clears throat> now I know that you are one of the few, and you're not alone. Uh, one of the few people that decide I'm gonna wait until all the episodes drop and watch the season at once. You know, the original binge watching. That's what streaming is for. I get that. So I'm not spoiling anything, I'm not gonna give anything away. I'm gonna give an ever so brief recap of this show. She's green, dog. <laughs> okay, I will go a little bit further than that. Um Obviously, we're only one episode into it. <clears throat> I'm going to go over something that I didn't like first. It was short. I want to say it clocks in under 40 minutes for the first episode. And mm. that 40 minutes flies by pretty fast. Um, what I did like, they didn't spend a whole lot of time on how she got her powers. It was like, bam, this is it. This is how it happened. Now let's get into the story. I like that because they didn't treat the audience like idiots and have to hold our hand the whole way. They put it out there. This is how it is. This is how it happened. This is where we are now. And of course, her cuz, uh, Bruce trained her. Obviously, there's some good comedic moments there. And we get to learn a lot about what he's been up to since Endgame. And um, it, 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 the episode ends with her going back to the big city, practicing law because that's what she wants to do. And there's a slight incident in the courtroom and i can't give you any more than that because that's where the episode ends so this is gonna what be days, shaping up what days of show. the week do they come out on uh wednesdays is what i want to say wednesdays. it's either wednesdays or thursdays because you know this disney plus they like to drop stuff on wednesdays and thursdays i came that close from actually watching the first episode i was this close and i was like nah i'm away okay. i'm away I mean, I'm going to see if I can't hold out because I keep seeing all these commercials about it. So, you know, even if you watch the first episode, you kind of get a feel for whether you're going to like it or not. And then you can hold out and binge all at once if you want to in about a month or so, because I believe the final episodes are in late September, something like that. Um, I am glad they didn't go the uh, route of these last couple of Star Wars uh, shows where you get six episodes, that's it. Uh, they, they they go quite a handful, if I'm correct. Are y'all hearing me, Disney? And or better be more than six episodes. I, I think all of them have been about six episodes. I want to say like Moon Knight, six or eight. I think it was eight. And I want to say it was eight for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And it was, was it 10 for WandaVision? I don't even remember. Okay. But, uh, yeah, well, I consider WandaVision only like seven or eight episodes because the first three were boring. <laughs> you didn't like the uh, Dick Van Dyke? I didn't like all the setup. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like all the setup. I'm like, really? It did drag. It did drag. It did. But you understood the whole meaning of it once you got to the end. But they could have they yes. actually did episodes one, two, and three all in one episode. Yes, they could have. It would have. It would have stopped me from wasting my time. But hey, you know, that's what that's what Marvel does. But it's kind of like The Walking Dead, you know, the first season. If you can yeah. get through the first six or eight episodes, you're good to go. Coral! Okay. <laughs> Let me stop that there. Okay, let's go to another topic here. I want to know your take on the best and the worst fashion trends for men over the years. Anytime, any decade, things that you liked, things that you didn't like. I'm going to give you an I mean, example. I'll tell you, I don't like the, the femininity, the way that guys are being dressed nowadays, for sure. Thank you. That's where I was getting ready to lead off with. 
skinny jeans, really, bro? I mean, you know, skinny jeans on a woman? That's fine. Show them curves. She need skinny jeans on a man? I, I don't want to see that. Right. Uh, I kind of like back in the, you know, the, the 20s where the guys were wearing suits and hats and things like that. You know, style. business style. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't laugh, but I think the cardigan sweater, if worn right. Oh, you said don't laugh. My fault. Sorry. <laughs> See, folks, this is why we call it slightly warped. <laughs> anyway, um, I think if if worn right, man, that that can set a man apart just by wearing that a certain way with a certain outfit and and make it look good. Um, you know, one thing that I, I didn't really care for ripped and distressed jeans for whatever reason to me on a grown man, it does not look good. It it, it screams, I'm trying to fit in, in style. Mm -hmm. It screams, I can't afford a better pair of jeans. And nine times out of 10, when you buy a pair of ripped or distressed jeans, you've paid more than they're worth. And they're already damaged. Now, I don't know about you. I don't want to pay for anything that's damaged in the first place. No, I mean, when I was a kid, you know, that was the style. You know, Again, but for a grown work. man. It's different before a grown man. No, I, I want yeah. actual, if I'm wearing jeans, I want them to cover my legs. Um, if, I want, if I want my legs to show, I'll wear shorts. There you go. Um, well, here's, here's a blast from the past. Hammer pants. You know? <laughs> <laughs> did you own a pair? Uh, I, I, shame to say, I did. <laughs> Kaz will tell you about that. That's them uh, Oak Tree Menswear Jeans West days. Yep. And, 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 you know, that was the literal difference because I used to work at Jeans West and I transferred because Oak Tree Menswear was the um, parent company and Kaz worked at Oak Tree. So he could literally see me make that transformation in the way I dressed every day, you know, wearing them hammer pants at Jeans West because that's what they sold to, you know, more stylish and sophisticated stuff. <laughs> what was I like 17 or 18 then? So, you know. Now I remember the parachute pants back in the day yeah yeah on on the street now, corner with, with our linoleum break dancing the only thing that's changed on that parachute pants are still made today they are not made with the shiny nylon they are made with um that fabric that uh dries quick and isn't as shiny and they call mm -hmm. them tactical pants yep so you know that that's hung around just in a different form but back in the day when Breaking was out, the movie Breaking, Breaking Two, Electric Boogaloo, we was all out there pop locking, shoot, boy. <laughs> yeah, and if you wasn't doing that, you were wearing your Beat It jacket or your Billy Jean yep. jacket. Yep, yep, or your Thriller jacket. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, non-matching outfits, bro. I can't stand it when somebody wears stripes and polka dots or colors that do not belong together. But I'm going to take it to a whole nother level. You don't need blue pants, blue shoes, and a blue shirt. That's a little bit too much. Break that shit out. I have been known to wear blue pants, blue shirt, blue shoes. Same shade? At the same. Uh, no, well, no. They're, they're different shades of blue. No, nah, I'm not saying the dark blue pair blue. pants and a light blue shirt. That's okay. I'm talking about the exact same shade. I've seen people, and this goes back to when I actually worked in those department stores, they were literally coming in with a shirt, trying to find a pair of pants that match it exactly. Got a pair of shoes to match it exactly. That's too much. And, and if y'all think I'm wrong, think about the old dude at the club that still has the jerry curl wearing the red suit with the red patent leather shoes. Tell me I'm not wrong. I'll wait. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, you yeah, know, I mean. You know, a trend in the 90s, you know, Sports wise, that I miss are them Zubaz football pants. Yeah, those were cool. One step away from hammer pants, they just need yeah, a little more room. They were cool, crotch. they were great pajamas. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, I saw somewhere, some companies still make some, not the Zubas, but uh, they're like pajama pants or lounge pants for men with the NF, in the NFL style. They're mm-hmm. just like the NFL pants that the players wear, only they're full length and they're oh, baggy. No. No, that's all right. I don't need that. I don't you, need you the don't, line down the side of the leg. I don't. You don't want that. the yellow stripe down your red. No, nah, I don't need that. No, nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. It'd be all red, you know, and then with the little Chiefs logo, that's one thing. But no, nah, I'm I'm good. Okay. Um, you know, what would they put on the ones for the Washington oh, Commanders? No, What'd you say about the Commanders? I'm like, what would they put on theirs? I don't even know if they have a stripe anymore. Just a W. <laughs> They'll mess around and put the W on the front instead of on the side. <laughs> Man, I, I I shouldn't talk about the commanders. They they put up a good fight against y'all. When? Not. I said, <laughs> I said <when>? not. <laughs> what during warm-ups? What? The coin toss, man. It was it was the, competitive. That was the, the most competitive stream, coin toss that I ever seen. The second stream played okay. Man, when the, when they when the ref threw that coin up, I thought the game could go either way. <laughs> they won it and still lost. Hey, before I go to the next subject, I do want to throw a shout out to a good friend of the show, a Miss Debbie Wiggins Calhoun. I just want to say on behalf of the entire Raider organization, to her and the other Dolphin fans out there, we're sorry. Um, next. <laughs> um, I, I want to ask you a serious question now. Because you and I are Star Wars fans. Uh, everybody who watches this show, they know it. We are. It's the superior set of movies. It just is. Everybody else deal with it. However, our, we'll just call it disdain for episodes 7, 8, and 9, which I... I not here to start a, a Twitter war or anything like that. They were good movies, but they were lackluster Star Wars movies. You give those characters different names and it's not related to Star Wars. It's a pretty good movie. But because it has the Star Wars lore around it and they messed up so many things, it didn't quite nail it like the previous films did. So the reason why I bring that up, I'm asking you the question. Should Disney make episode 10, 11, and 12 and continue on with the story and kind of fix some things and or do some things right? Or should they just bypass the Skywalkers altogether and go off into different direction for their next movies? Well, if if they're going to, my personal opinion, if they're going to do anything, they should redo 7, 8, and 9. Because mm. there is no 10, 11, 12 in the Luke Skywalker, you know, in the Skywalker series. There were only nine episodes. So they should redo them, reset them, you know, just like we've seen a thousand Batmans <laughs> and, you know, a hundred Fantastic Fours. We could reset 7, 8, 9, no problem. Well, let me ask you this. I would love that to happen, but here's the thing. We don't have Carrie Fisher anymore. How do we redo this? Same way you didn't have her in uh, um, Rogue One. You mean go digital? Yeah. If you need to. She was, I mean, she was a big part, but I mean, you could still recast if you had to. Keep Here's what I would do. You know, we've already got the footage with her in the movies. I would pull a George Lucas and re-edit these movies, and then you could take the current cast that is still around and redo some of their parts to make it match more in line with what it's supposed to be. Make but a lot of those movies. characters that are in there now mm-hmm. aren't in the original seven, eight, and nine. What do you mean? So, like the who who's the dude the the black dude that was a stormtrooper? Finn. He had nothing to do with seven eight nine. He wasn't part of that storyline. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. I would make him a bigger part. I mean, in seven, he was great. He was a stormtrooper that defected, and I thought his story was going to be so much better. Reshoot some parts with him, giving Create him more of his story. own story. He yeah. has nothing to. He has nothing to do with the Skywalker saga. I, see I mean, because theoretically, Luke Skywalker marries Myra Jade, who was that, a Sith assassin. You. That was a is Sith where I thought they were fell, going to go with this. Right, that falls in love with Luke. They have a child. By the way, that child's name is Ben. Not Ben right. Solo. Right. Han and, and Leia's then, kid had a different name. Right, well, Han and Leia had a couple kids. Yeah, twins. There's a total of three children. One from Luke, two from Leia. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, Luke actually does rebuild the Jedi Order, the Jedi mm -hmm. Temple. And then, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he there's a, a Sith holocron that comes out. And it was a, it's kind of what they did in Episode 9 with the Emperor being a uh, clone. Mm -hmm. But this was a clone master jedi that ruins everything not 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 palpatine oh okay but all that stuff you know and that's and that's also where they introduced thrawn into the system as in in those areas and thrawn is a whole is a whole great character on his own yes know, which we will see him in the ahsoka show right and if you but understand the pattern get... everything from dave filoni and john favreau seems to be making to say yay Everything from Kathleen Kennedy's making us say why. Right. But, and to me, yeah, I mean, Ashoka, she had nothing to do with episode right. after four, five, and six. No, no, she doesn't. But Thrawn came in in episode seven, eight, nine. So, or should have. Yeah, yeah, should well, have. Well, I mean, no, I mean, but Dark Vader in, in that original episodes, the books, uh, Darth Vader and all them, he was already dead. Yeah. Because yeah. Thrawn was the new bad guy. Yeah. And he created I, I believe that. that book series was Heir to the Empire. Yeah. yeah. And he, uh, uh, he, um, like created that, that spaceship that, like, had the power of the sun. Kind of like the, it was kind of like the, the big planet destroyer star, thing. Star, yeah. star killer base or whatever it was called. Yeah. 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 Um, and the so Death you Star. see where they took several bits, but they twisted them around yeah. and changed so many things. Yeah, Luke was such a weak Jedi in his old age, and those in the ones that they came out with, for you, I I didn't like them. I just didn't. They and, they really mistreated his character. And Carrie Fisher was much more force sensitive than they showed her in those. I mean, she was a badass. I mean, Luke trained her to be a Jedi, so she yeah. was just as tough as he was. You know, didn't need the Mary Poppins moment though. No, not at all. Um, so now I think they should redo it if they're not if they're going to leave it the way it is. Just go on. I would actually like to see you know some old Republic stuff. Do a trilogy in the old Republic setting. Introduce, there is talk you know, of like, that. Like the um, Bane, Darth Bane. You know, do the, his Rule of Three. You know, his three books are really good. You know, or the Rule of Two. I mean. The only so, problem that I see with that is the fact that it seems like Hollywood has a habit of Hollywoodizing things, meaning that they're going to end up changing so much of it. And they, they try to do it to be like, oh, we're going to throw them a curve. They won't see this coming. It'll be great. And they don't understand. We don't want a curve. We want exactly what we read. That, right. That's what we want. And, we'll and I think the sooner they of... stop that, the better. We'll give you a little bit of creative, you know, leniency, but you, we want pretty much the storyline, you yeah. know. And, and unfortunately, I think Disney also has this thing where I don't know if it's a mandate in everybody's memos. Hey, you have to add a character. We're going to push these main characters to the back and we're going to force this new character down your throat. No, that's that's not what we signed up for. That's not what we want. And the Kylo Ren, I mean, he sucked as a bad guy. They they could have got a much more tougher bad guy. 
Yeah, he was very whiny. He 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 made Anakin look like a genius. <laughs> I mean, so, Anakin was tough. You know, yeah. Anakin was whiny, and Anakin was tough. But Kylo, man, I think I don't have no Jedi powers, and I think I could whoop his ass. Kylo clearly not Kylo. Anakin clearly had a killer instinct about him. Oh yeah. So you know that's something that was missing from Kylo. Um, well, and then you know they brought that mask, and you thought, okay, this is kind of looks like the Darth Raven slash, you know, Darth Vader looking type helmet, and then yeah. you see him, he's like, Ugh. the dude would play a much more younger Professor Snape in Harry Potter series than he would a Jedi. I'm just saying. I I would propose keep the mask on for at least two and a half films. <laughs> yeah. Keep the mystery. Just keep it on in general. Hell, you could have brought Darth Maul back. That dude survived everything. Didn't he, though? With his fake legs. <laughs> yeah. You, you bring, there's, yeah, I just, I was so, and, you know, to have the last movie called, what was it, The, the Rise of that, Skywalker. That, that's what upset me the most. The Rise of it Skywalker. It wasn't even a Skywalker. I thought they were going to redeem Luke. I really thought right. they were going to redeem Luke. And and we get all the way through the end of the movie. What's your name, Ray? Skywalker. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, you ain't you ain't got. You shit know damn to do well you're a Palpatine. Right. Yeah, I. I actually Again. like. I enjoyed the. I enjoyed them resetting the stuff in Disney Plus with the episodes and series that they're doing. Yeah. There's a lot of content that they could do that they don't just. Reset them in the episodes. Reset seven, eight, nine in the episodes, and then do a whole new trilogy on some other character. Create a new character. Do a trilogy. Yeah, I mean, wow. I mean, on the one hand, I really would wish they would make up for seven, eight, nine, and just find some kind of way to redeem what we didn't get. But if they can't do that. Don't give us a 10, 11, and 12. Just start fresh and, you know, give us a new character. That way you don't have to push a side push our old characters away to the side. Just give us new characters, new adventures. And you still want to call it Star Wars? That's fine. It can still be about war. That's no problem. But leave Luke out of it. You know, leave Leia out of it. If you have to mention them for something, that's fine to tie it in, but just go in a different direction and do your own thing. I mean, there are so many original characters that they could do so many things with. I mean, I thought that that's what they were kind of doing with Grogu in The Mandalorian, you know? Yeah. Kind of giving you the idea of how Yoda was Yoda, but the way that they're making him age, you know, you know, he's 100 years old already and he still has the mindset of a two-year-old type of thing, that's going to get boring really fast, you know. Why they took him away from Luke Skywalker in the first place after they gave it to him in that episode, why, he doesn't need to hang around with the Mandalorian. Let that dude be a Jedi and move on. You can build off of that. Why is he, you know, I was very upset with that. Maybe he'll end up going full circle and and, and end up being a, a, a Jedi when it's all over. And, and how is Ray so powerful? She had no training. She was on that, that island with Luke that is for one like of the two things, weeks. That's one of the things that people hated the most. She literally had... Uh, oh, and it's worse than that, because it wasn't even two weeks. Because remember, I mean, Finn, get... Finn and that one chick were off to the side, and they were had they had, what, a day to get what they needed? Right. So how does time work in the Star Wars... Uh, because exactly, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, but I guess it's not ours, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to write something spectacular, show them <laughs> how it's done. All right, real. Hey, quick let's just crowd our own thing up. and we'll call it War of the Stars. Oh yeah, Lucasfilm won't be knocking on our door for that, will they? <laughs> we don't have lightsabers either. We have laser swords. We have sabers of light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
my main villain's name will be Dark Invader. There you go. He's married to Elevator. There, there you go. And they have a son named Duke um, Skyhopper. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> Duke Skyhopper. There you go. Yes. All right. Real quick, I read this article um, about should, and I found it insulting, and I'm not even white. Should white people listen to black music? Well, duh. I, I didn't mean, know music had a color. That's the whole point I want to get to. It doesn't, and it shouldn't. I mean, yes, I know that rock comes from the blues. Blues is uh, kind of born of soul. I get that. I really do. But at the end of the day, music is music. People are people. And sorry, I'm getting ready to get on my soapbox show. It's okay. You go ahead. A lot of people, a lot of people are like, well, we need our own. Look at these award shows. Oh, they've got the Grammys. We need the BET Awards. They've got the Country Music Awards. We need this. No, no, we don't need it. And before any of y'all get mad, hear me out. Because this is important. Nobody liked apartheid. Remember apartheid in South Africa? Separate but equal. The minute you say we need our own, you are making something separate but equal. And nothing good comes out of separating anything. If you want to be part of something, get yourself to be part of something. Make yourself part of it. Don't create something separate because that's almost always not going to work out right. Oh, it'll be good for a little while. And you get the choice of saying, hey, we have ours, but it's never really ours. It's just a separate thing. And, and what I mean by that is we have to get away from the our own mentality if we're ever going to have a for everyone mentality because you can't have both and you can't complain that you don't have something if you constantly want to have something else it doesn't work would i do i mind watching bet awards or the country music uh, awards or anything like that? no i don't mind it but we need to expand this stuff during these Grammy shows and all that and and put more of it in one big show and dissolve all these other shows. The only way we're going to be together is to get together. You're never going to get together if we're separate. All right, I'm off the soapbox. I wish I had an applause soundtrack because I just put that right there right now. <laughs> be sure to I, edit I, and put, a, put some applause after that when you edit it. I'm, I might have to do that. I mean, I'm just speaking from the heart, and I know a lot of people are going to not like it and say, well, we need to have it because we don't have this. Yes, that's true right now. But you can't just have it and then keep it. Try to find if a way to dissolve goal, it. Yeah, if the goal is to get everybody together, like you said, mm. you can't have separation. If the exactly. end goal, because once you separate it, it's separated. There's going to be people like, no, we don't need to merge with them. And no, we don't need to merge with them. You know, it's no. And, and, music and, is music. And, and to those to those people, I say, yes, we do. Because, yeah, people are going to listen to what they want to listen to. And I don't have any right saying, well, you don't need to listen to that. That's not your music. Why isn't it? Everybody who knows me knows I host a music show on my other YouTube channel and we listen to all types of music because music is for everyone. Who in the hell are we to judge somebody by what they do or do not listen to and try to determine for them what's best for them? You don't want anybody determining that for you. Just me. Yes, I guess I could I be wrong. No, you're right. 100%. Now, listen, before we get out of here, I want everybody who's watching this to leave a comment. Let me know if you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong. If you do think I'm wrong, leave me a description on 
A, why you think I'm wrong, and B, how you would handle it to make the situation better. Because it's easy to tell somebody that they don't have the right answer, but if you're going to say that they don't have the right answer, follow up with a suggestion. All right. And then right after you do that, like and subscribe. There you go. Because <laughs> we always got some good content on the way. Always. That's right. Well, buddy, it's been another good show. Yep. I like that. I like that. Um, just a real quick reminder. Um, next week is our last uh for lack of a better word, we'll call it non football week because the week after is the NFL spectacular. Uh, we are going to, you know, be picking a lot of picks on, on that day. Um, can't tell you guys what's on store for uh, next week because we haven't got that far yet. By the time you all watch this, maybe I'll be a little bit closer to that. If you guys got any suggestions, we take those, go ahead and leave those with your, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, appreciate each and every one of you that watched. Make sure you share with other people, too, so they can see it. And Big Show, I want to thank you. Appreciate you. This is fun. It is. It's a blast. I enjoy it. I look forward to it. All right. 